How's everybody doing? Welcome to Fishery. I'm Alexander Williamson, and today we're going to be talking about the crazy world of luxurious and rare fish. Now, I have been around a lot of crazy fish in my life, but there are some really, really strange ones out there uh, that are simply one of a kind, hard to find, maybe monster fish, or maybe they are a fish that we've all had and they have been line bred specifically for a trait. In any case, these are expensive fish sometimes black market fish. This is a snakehead that you're seeing, not legal in the United States, and an absolutely beautiful fish, a very predatory fish. And we're going to start off our talk by looking at this fish right now, but we will be looking at dozens and dozens of videos that people have sent me trying to uh, see if I am interested in being part of an auction for rare fish. So here we go. Look at these. These are jewel cichlids, but they're not wild jewel cichlids. They are hemichromis that are balloon bodied dwarf shaped with a spade tail and very odd long fins. Now they're also super, super dark red and in with them, they've got other uh, parrot cichlids and things like that but these are the African cichlids that that you're used to seeing and yet they've got that look like uh, I mean like nothing else like a red devil or something uh, Lake Turkana jewel cichlids are the only ones that seem to get this red normally so sometimes you wonder are they giving them hormones or something now here are another set of giants these are gars and these are short bodied uh, Florida gars and they're platinum they don't have the red eyes here again we have leucistic so not true albino but these are arowana and these are Asian arowana so these are at least two or three thousand dollar a piece fish at this size and uh yeah they're like a foot long in this tank and just absolutely beautiful again we've got hybrid stingrays so they're a mix of two kinds and these are the platinum or highest select grade 10 albino then there's other kinds of albinos out there so there's Albino is with the red eye and it means a lack of pigment. Then leucistic means that they don't have uh, a black pigment or the dark pigments and they may still have red or yellow and in that case they had yellow and the white uh, and sometimes they'll still have the red and the orange. Here we see bigger arowanas and then here speaking of pigments We've got a very unusual ribbon style finage on these guppies. Males and females have color and the colors were for royalty in the Middle East. Now, here we have mollies. This is just about the most absurd balloon body you'll ever see. Plus the long fin gene, plus the platinum gene and the albino gene. You can see the albino in the eyes. So just really crazy things going on with fish goldfish are another one fancy goldfish fetch top dollar many places so some places you couldn't get more than 150 or 100 dollars for these in the u.s overseas in asia and singapore auctions uh sometimes 10 20 thousand dollars for a goldfish with the right markings and the right uh traits these are some of the ones that were up for auction recently in Singapore and again in Malaysia. A Facebook friend of mine sent me uh, some of the photos of the stuff that was all over several thousand dollars each. And this is stuff you just don't see in the U.S. Very hard to import very prone to problems when they have all of those flubber humps whatever you call them uh then here we've got zingu peacock bass uh absolutely monster fish and uh here again an absolute monster fish that i'd never heard of the thing looks like a gremlin or a tiger shark it looks like a rip saw uh with with fins i mean that thing is gnarly 
Again, a frogfish. This is a brackish. This is one of the few brackish species on here. Uh, the rest are all fresh. And they're just weird. <laughs> Same with these stingrays, which all have different degrees of pigment imbalances. Uh, and they kind of run the spectrum there to show you what they're breeding for. So they're breeding literally these things at silver dollar size, you know, and, and hundreds of them, thousands of them, to get one that they can then breed for that. Now this is the largest of the knife fish groups, and uh, it is really interesting because it looks like a bowfin, but it's upside down. Also very popular right now are these little lizard loaches coming out of China. This one doesn't even have a species name yet. And here is something very interesting with uh, pigment because these are Oscars. So you may recognize that albino one, and we'll see more of those soon. But also discus looking good. But I just want to show you the size of this high-finned shark as well. I mean, look at that thing. The high-finned shark loach is insane um more again these are leucistic and platinum which is a little bit of yellow and the white gene pretty crazy look at the just solid color on these these are like 300 dollars discus and here we've got more oscars again these are oscars that are being selected for more and more orange until they're solid and some of these patterns are fetching five, six, seven hundred dollars. These ones here are balloon bodied white with the, the albinism, and they're just, I mean, look at them. They're, they don't look like Oscars at all anymore. They look like goldfish. And that is like a predatory fish that gets a foot long. So some of this is kind of mean because some of these fish, I mean, that's the same fish right there, um, they, they have a, a straight. Uh, way that they digest food and it gets kinked up when they have the balloon bodies so here's some platinum rams but these also are iridescent uh, pastel rams so they're blue and light purple and light orange they're a mix of colors with just iridophores and no pigment so just the shimmery scales and no pigment and they're playing with rams in ways we've never seen so look at these these are blue and platinum rams. You can see it when they move sideways, but they've got an orange head. So these look like koi. So crazy. Again, here we have some flower horns, which are another man-made fish, completely invented by uh, hybridizing fish together. Uh, I think they are beautiful in color, but they do have health problems. Uh, again, Oscars. These are those Oscars that are just unreal these ones actually have a color that looks pink in some of them so there's like a fuchsia or a pink that's that when they get all the red like this one here and then they get them to have another chromosome dysfunction for the platinum gene and the albino gene and this is mostly from indonesia and malaysia this is one of the guys who it puts out these lists of really rare expensive stuff like these blood red goldfish incredibly rare exotic fish yellow fire uh, eels that are full grown and again more arowanas uh, they're always going to be popular the Asian arowanas again illegal in the US um, legal in Canada with certain certificates. Now, Indonesia is not well known for having those certificates. Malaysia and Thailand are. Then here we've got the high finned uh, loach. And these things are, um, yeah, they're just, they're just wild. Uh, and uh, they've got that balloon body, uh, Add, added to them and here back to the Oscars that are the pink color they're all the rage right now red and pink Oscars uh, with the white patches and different patterns if they've got like three spots that means something if they've got eight that means something else it's all numbers and luck for especially Chinese buyers um, here we have axolotls with 
the leucistic yellow skin, but they've still got the orange to red colors too in their body going down their kind of side and in their gills. Here we have, uh, I think it's called the emperor or king knife, ghost knife. Um, and these are a, a metallic uh, one. Just big fish that get really big. And here again we have chana or snake heads. And these are beautiful fish that are just totally illegal in the U.S. Because two species out of the 50 are possibly very, very invasive. And with those fins, the pectoral fins, they can walk on land. And they can walk up to a mile in a day, up to like 2.3 kilometers. Um, but these ones are just one of the many varieties. Right now, fire and ice is probably the rarest one or the most expensive one. And here you can see another rare catfish. I think this is a, a, a Chinese, I believe this is one of their um, cave catfish that is blind. And it has just a crazy array of odontoed whiskers um, on them. Then we've got a green and orange arowana, which is a morph of the red and uh, yellow or red and gold, which is the most expensive, the, the dragon blood arowanas. They go for, you know, rumors say half a million to a million for some of the fish, but we know confirmed at auction a few hundred thousand. Also, uh, polyopterus bichers and things like that they're going for a ton but here we have more chana and this is another type of chana um, and uh, they when they're albino or if they have anything unusual about them they're seen as like a really strong uh, manly um, good for your mojo kind of fish over in Asia more species of Chana, which we'll never see in the U.S., yet they're breeding them for these brighter colors and different patterns and gold and things like that. Um, and it's really interesting, but they're very expensive. If you were to try to buy one in the U.S., you'd be spending thousands. There's an albino one right there. It's actually platinum, my mistake. Its eye is not red. You see that? So those are even rarer than the albino. And look at this, a fly river turtle that's albino. <clears throat> this is probably ten, twenty thousand dollar turtle right there. Absolutely nuts. And a gar. I think this is a clouded um, platinum albino gar to end on. Ta-da! We made it to the end, at least for now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's selection of rare and exotic fish and uh, I'm curious which ones did you find the most interesting which ones would you like to see more of or you know is there a fish that you'd like to see with some of the traits or colors you saw today in the videos I'd love to hear from you and if you are subscribed thank you so much uh, and thank you for always uh, hitting that thumbs up as you guys do and also, if you're subscribed, make sure that you are uh, selected for all the notifications you want. If you want to hear from me every time I have a video, select all on the little bell icon. And uh, if you don't, then select whatever preference uh, is best for you. So um, YouTube seems to be losing track of that information for some reason or another. And I keep hearing that from folks. So uh Anyhow, that's the end of the public service announcement. Thanks for joining me, you guys, and I will see you next time.